Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode six of Spirit Fairer, and a special early hello to Markwack and Jody K. Actually, Jody K was here first. I should have said Jody K first. Uh, I hope that you guys have had a fantastic weekend. Uh, my weekend is very fortunately not going to be over here at the end of Sunday because we actually have tomorrow off from work, so that'll be pretty cool. But between here and there, we're going to continue our seafaring adventures in Spirit Fairer. Uh, we're 16% done, and yeah, at the end of last episode, we had to say goodbye to one of our one of our crew members. I should probably jump in before talking too much about the specifics, just in case anybody was coming in fresh. But yeah, we had to say goodbye to 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 Gwen, the character who I very commonly would almost refer to as Stella. Just uh, Stella's my character, and I sort of got to know the two of them at the same time. It seemed like Stella and Gwen were good friends, and. It was sad to say goodbye to her, but it's been several days since then. Uh, this was this was Gwen's place. I don't know that we have anything else that should be done with this room, so we should probably remove it and free up the space in order to put in our orchard or something else. That said, it doesn't need to be the first thing that we do because we did also upgrade the boat, so we've got a lot of new buildable space here as well. Jody K asked where Gwen went. Gwen decided to go forward. Gwen went to the Everdor, which you can see on the map right here, here, uh, with the little Omega symbol, or at least that's what I think that is, and moved on. Uh, it was actually kind of really lovely that Gwen sort of made peace with, with, with where she was and what she needed to do and was ready to go ahead. And it was sad for Stella, but I think ultimately a good idea for Gwen. Now, we've got this ice barrier that's breaking us, or sorry, blocking us from going forward, and I have forgotten exactly what we might want to do next. We can, apparently, oh, we can get, actually, we can get the icebreaker right now. That's right. That's exactly what it was. See, see the spirit flower there? Can I gesture with the mouse? Yes, the spirit uh, flower. That's what we needed to have access to, and in order to get the icebreaker, and now we have that. Markwax weekend has been a bit of a mixed bag. I suspect I'm also looking forward to a hectic week, only 118 hours to go until the weekend. A, it, and it, sometimes just knowing that there's something finite to count down is the way to get a little bit forward. Uh, I don't know, where's Summer? Oh, have you seen Summer today? I think she didn't get up this morning. That's odd. She's usually up at first light. Something seems wrong with her house. Maybe Albert the shipwright could help us. Okay, I was going there anyway. Yeah, look, Summer's not awake. That seems concerning. We wanted to go see Albert the shipwright anyway, so let's go do that. Okay, and Albert is actually literally right where I am. Okay. Clearly at the end of the last episode, I was saying as soon as we come in for episode six, I'll know to go get my ship upgrades and... Yeah. If I don't know that face. It's about that house, the green and brown one, right? Have some sort of problem with it, don't you? Yeah, I could see it from a mile away. Listen, I know my job. Me and the boys, we're real professionals. And it's not often that we criticize another worker's craftsmanship. But that house, oh, wow. It had to be the worst job I've ever seen. So consider this a lesson. Don't just trust any old amateur. Always go to a professional. So tell me, what complaints have, does your passenger have? What, she's sleeping? Oh, of course. That bald head of hers is very sensitive to temperature changes. Imagine how cold she must be. Not mentioning her dry and scaly skin. Oh, no, no. She needs a temperature and a humidity control system. Luckily, that place was so sharply designed that there's ample cracks for wiring and electronics. <laughs> so, yeah, there you go. Some plans and schematics for a nice all-in-one HVAC system. Pro quality. Call it a courtesy. After all, how can you repay your debts if your boat falls to pieces? <laughs> So I straight up got it then, or do I have to buy it separately? I mean, we're going to do an upgrade to the boat anyway. 
Uh, yeah, because we need the icebreaker in order to, like, get stuff. So we're going to get this no matter what. Papoom. There we go. So you can see it up there, up at the front. See, now I know I can gesture with the mouse. There we go. And so the next thing that we would want is Hermes Him, which requires wool fabric, which I don't have access to. The wood planks and clearly the slate we've got, but not the wool fabric. And then this would require 16,000 glims. I'm at 5,000 right now. And this would require also wood fabric. So we are done at the shipwright for a while. He's very entertaining. That's one mighty foundry. When they built it, they were surely thinking outside the box site. <laughs> okay, goodbye now. Okay, HVAC system. Let's see if we can install this improvement to... This is her place, right? Yeah, Summer Sanctuary. So we're going to put this in. It only costs... Oh, shoot. We need glass. I don't have any of that. And nor have we seen the capacity to make it yet. We can give her some... Mostera Delic Deliciosa? Is this a thing? I feel like this is something that Jody K would know all about. Let's put this in. And then the crystal table, which I can easily afford. There we go. Uh, but the HVAC system is currently outside our reach, so we're going to have to save up some glass. What else could we um, improve? We're, we shouldn't improve What's-Her-Face's stuff. Okay, we've done that. The foundry is missing a blueprint. Let's start at the top here. Astrid's bungalow. All right. I don't have access to any zinc that I've seen, nor any ash wood, cotton, or aluminium, or aluminum as I call it. We don't have that stuff. Okay, so we can't do anything for Astrid. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing more there. We actually already upgraded the kitchen. Then we've got Atoll's workshop. Now this we could upgrade. Hold on, we could build a shower in there to wash off all the sawdust. So I'm gonna need to, I'm gonna need to make a quick note for myself on what I need. So give me five seconds here. Cause well, although we did find that like the shenanigans do, do post some stuff. Oh no, my note paper broke. Oh, well, we'll worry about that later or never. Okay, so for the shower, I need eight slate, which I have. I'm just writing it down so I don't spend it on other stuff. And then we need uh, eight linen fabric. And we're writing it down because who knows what else we can build here. Okay, aluminium, don't have it. Ash, don't have it. But at least the shower we can get. So let's go loom ourselves some linen fabric in a second. No upgrades there, no upgrades there, and fire glow, which I don't feel like I've seen yet, so we're not going to worry about it. Hello to Scaly One! Jody K said, wait, what would I know? I was commenting on a video of a cat squeezing out of a kennel, like they are an octopus. Um, this Monstera Deliciosa. Is that just made up for the game, or is that giant plant like an actual plant that snakes like or something? That's- I, it just seemed to me like you know a lot of animal stuff, so... Seemed like something that you might know. Now, as far as I know, we're pretty good on this side of the world, so we should probably be heading up to, like, Kalkstein Mines, or these crates, or Masha. Let's see, before we go, let's see, is there anything else on this side that I should be doing? And it's, it's basically the middle of the night. Look inside the bottle. Okay, I've not done that yet. Let's open and open and open a treasure map. Ooh, okay. I'm going to make a note of this. Negative 58, negative 52. Just writing that down. We've already read that. Yep. Mm-hmm. Did it. Yes. Help. Did we read this? Okay, we definitely did that. Lost at sea. Poem to Stella. Yes. Okay, definitely read that. 
And then for our key items, I don't know what the figurines are for. Maybe we'll figure that out later. Jody K. And Doctor is also here. Says this is a real plant, Monstera. Jody K. Says visually that's a real plant. Let me Google the name. They're also called the Swiss cheese plant or split leaf philodendron. They are native to tropical forests of southern Mexico, south to Panama. I love having chat that can look stuff up like that. Let's think for one second. Um, before we go to bed, let's harvest our linen. And then we're gonna... Why not plant some more? And now it's so late that we won't even be able to set a course for that treasure. But if we can go there, we'll do that first. I'm generally a fan of doing everything that I can in an area before moving on. And that includes places like, you know, Dragon Age Inquisition, where people like to say, oh, just go on. Well, no, I, I want to do all the stuff here that I can. Like, if you run into something that's like a way higher level, then clearly you're meant to come back. Jody K says, and all, has always, as always, the plant has been introduced to other tropical areas where they have become invasive. Okay, guest house is largely empty. So, like I said, I do feel like maybe we should think about removing this edit. Now this has unsalvageable. So maybe maybe we're not gonna Oh, we can build higher now too. It wasn't just out, it was up. Okay. Well, let's see what else we can build here in the middle of the night. We have a foundry. We do not have an orchard. That requires nebula thread, which I don't know how to harvest yet. This requires a uh, aluminum, a field. We do have a field, don't we? I'm pretty sure that's one of the fields. We've got a field and a garden, I want to say. Sawmill? Yeah, garden and field, I want to say, that we already have. And then the sheep corral. Oh, that's how we're going to move the sheep. Uh, for that, we need some oak planks. So let me just write down 16 oak planks. I know it's fascinating watching nothing happen while I physically write this down with my hand. Uh, so that's the shower, and this would be the oak planks are for the sheep. Uh, pen. I'm just gonna write down pen because fewer letters. Okay. Now, I'm gonna go to sleep because although we could probably do some of that crafting here, I usually like to do crafting while we are, while we're sailing. But yeah, Scaly One, I hope that you're having a great weekend. Uh, we saw you earlier today, but I, I hope that the rest of your Sunday's been okay. Hello to Solid Chrome Hickey and Patikan and Jab. I hope that you're all having a great weekend. Jody K says other common names include the delicious monster, fruit salad plant, fruit salad tree, in reference to its edible fruit, which tastes similar to a fruit salad. And then several other names, Mexican breadfruit, window leaf, balazo, and penglai banana. Jody K, uh, sorry, Jad was watching the earlier VOD. Was that of, um, what's it called? Uh, Rift Breaker. Yeah, that was a fun session earlier today. That was, the, the I think, the most successful that we've been at this hard playthrough of Rift Breaker. So, let's take a quick look here. So, we want to go negative 58, negative 52. Negative 58 is right there. And then negative 52 should be down here. And I guess we're going to find out if I can go here, because we haven't been down here. We might encounter some sort of wall. Negative 52 is there. There. Confirm travel. Jab was about halfway through. Yeah, I had a great time today, Jab, and uh, I, I have to say, I, I feel like everything that we tried to do in the session went really well. And there's yet more to do in the last area that we were in, which I don't know if you've reached, so I will I will not give too much away. Hello to Takaroche! Where is this game set? This game is set, I think, in the afterlife, actually. Based on based on what I've picked up. 
Oh, so we wanted to do two things. We wanted to get some oak planks, and that's going to be in here. So this is why I write them down. We'll take our oak logs, and we need 16 total. I've already got some. Let's put in five, and then we'll see what we get. Takarosh, I hope... Ugh. I hope you've also had a good... Sunday. Oof. I'm using a controller for this. Um, I'll, I'll say this. The controls are very digital. It's like, there's no, there's not a lot of like degrees of finery. It's like it starts moving up and down and then it goes up and down. This means that I would be about the same level of badness with a mouse and keyboard, I think, that I would with a, this controller. Okay, I, hold on. I wanted to see how many planks of wood I have. wood. I have 16. Sorry, 14. I need one more. Or Hi. I need to do it once more to get two more. Oh, oh, I was about to say I did it perfectly. Now we've got enough. Okay, we might be going through a lightning storm. Nope, he's happy. Jab says the morning VODs are, are just way too early. Uh, understood. Yeah, that is a product of me just naturally getting up probably earlier than most people should and saying, well, this seems like a way that to like lead into Sam Lander's stream. We wanted this for the sheep pen, yes. Why I write it down? Why did I even do this? For this. So, the sheep pen. Um, I don't have a strong opinion on where it goes, so we'll just extend that ladder there. I also don't currently have any sheep, so... Yeah, someday we will have a sheep here, and we'll be able to move that sheep to whichever island it was, Furugawa or whatever. So I'm just going to cross off the fact that we did that. Okay, we're going to see our thing, and I would need eight linen fabrics next. So let's go check out the loom. Oh, these guys are probably hungry. <laughs> hey, you know what would be nice? Something to eat. I'm feeling a little peckish, and I like simple meals. Have we given her grilled fish lately? Mm -hmm. Hey, I always say, plain makes delicious. Plain dishes make delicious dishes. You can quote me on that one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, I don't want to get close to you right now. I'm eating this sandwich. She has a nice house. She doesn't like the banging. She has eaten a meal, and she's been hugged. So she's all, all set. Hey, uncle. Uh, he's hungry. He usually is. Let's give him some... Usually meal size large is what I try to aim for with him. But you know what? Do I know yet what he likes? He just likes everything. His favorite is pork chops, which I don't know that I have. But if I do, I will feed him some pork chops. I actually don't see that here. I thought I had some. How about some soup? Oh, oh I had a hankering for this. And does he want a hug? Eh, looks like he's open for a hug. Hey, give me a minute. I've watched quite a few hours of this so far, and I can honestly say I have no idea what it's about or have any idea what's going on. So, this is Stella, the character that I am right now. And she is a... What the hell is this place? Uh, she has basically replaced Karan as the fairy person who is uh, shepherding people off to the afterlife. And as far as I can tell, and this is based entirely on our interactions with Gwen, one of the things that we want to do is to help people make peace with the events of their lives so that then they feel ready to go through the Everdoor and go on to whatever... <laughs> whatever may, might lie for them afterwards. But I am reading some into that, and it hasn't been said outright. Oh, and then there's crafting. So in order to help them, there's certain quests that we're doing to either upgrade the boat or add new, new amenities. But as of the last episode, we said goodbye to our friend Gwen. Are we in like the... I, I want to say that it, the sun is up. Except for wherever it is that we are. 
Oh, we are almost where we're going. Okay. Well, let's see what kind of treasure we get. Patekin is saying that I get up too early. I think that that is correct. And then he's also saying, I just finished watching Extraction 2. I enjoyed it a lot like the first movie. Patekin, is that the one with Chris Hemsworth? Because I've, I've heard some good things about that. Oh. Our treasure might be right here. Well, we found something. A foundry upgrade. Okay, hold on. Let me let me clear the barnacles or muscles off the side of the ship. Okay, and then we'll check our quest, but I think we're I think we're ready to use the icebreaker next. Okay, that's everything off the side of the ship. Okay, let's check out well Okay, hold on. There's a lot of conflicting thoughts here. Talk to this person. I have absolutely no idea what that's about. Find household glue and silk threads. I do not have those things. Uh, Atul wants some fried chicken. I don't have any of that. Find a second sheep. Well, we just built the sheep pen, so we can go do that. Find Olga's sister, Masha. Oh, that's the person. I didn't realize that Masha is the giant turtle sister. Travel to Susan's museum, negative 150 by 150. I feel like that's going to be outside our range, but we'll go double check. Because negative 150 is going to be way the hell over here. Or uh, it's negative 150 by 150. I think it is. And that's on the other side of the ice sheet. So that's here-ish. Yeah, it's going to be a minute before we're over there. I say... Let's go visit Masha, because we have a reason to do that. But is saying that Extraction is Extraction 2 is well worth watching, especially if you like action movies. I think generally I like action movies. I certainly like movies with action in them. Uh, what they need for me is some reason that the action is happening. It's comparatively rare that I'll feel really excited about a movie that's just pure action. Now, like, here's an example. I've watched Crank. I remember thinking that Crank was a pretty fun movie and that I overall enjoyed watching. I don't remember a single thing that happened in all of Crank. Like, not, not a single thing. I remember having conversations about what happened in Crank. So I remember some details, whoops, from the conversations. But aside from that, Crank is just a blur. And I think it's supposed to be. I don't think you're supposed to reach the end of Crank and have like a, you know, have a detailed conversation about all of the decisions that were made by the main character. Okay. Is there... So I made the linen... Oh, for the shower. Let's go put the shower in. This is one of the things that I'm really excited about, the notes feature in Steam because then I can write a lot faster in the notes feature. Let's improve Atoll's workshop, which... There we go. And now we can put in the shower. Oh, and there's a track button as well. Well, I know that I don't have any aluminum and I know I don't have any ash, so we're not gonna worry about those things right now. So let me just cross off the shower ingredients. And negative 58, negative 52, that was the thing that we just got. Yeah, so already we've done three things that I'd written down to do. Now, uh, the fat wait, the foundry upgrade. That was here. Double your profits with all of these ingots. That requires nebula fabric. I don't have that, so we'll say no to that. And otherwise, let's see, we've watered our crops. I don't feel like I have a lot of things that need doing. Like, I don't need a lot of crafting materials right now. Let's cook. Oh, he likes pork chops. Let's make him some. Hop those bad boys in. But he can say also you can pin the notes so they are visible while playing. I have not experimented with it much yet, Patikin. I'm looking forward to it. 
it's it's sort of a matter of like having a game like this where what I need is like remember a crafting thing or you know in Anno 1800 what was I intending to do the trouble is that Anno at least for me is not a Steam game that is a Ubisoft game and this is not a Steam game this is an Epic game so <laughs> okay that sounds like the junk dealer Oh no, the the fast travel salesman. Yeah, we don't we don't need to talk to that dude. Did I need a soul for something? I really don't remember. Also, you want to know what I think is the deal with the like nebula fabric and stuff? I think that you have to have a specific person on board because when I think about it, Every time that we went to the jellyfish, that would, like, uh, Gwen would come out and say, Oh, hey, you know, this is what this means. And every time there's a lightning storm, Uncle Atoll is the one who's like, Yo, why don't you run around underneath the lightning strikes and catch them in a bottle? Because you're not going to die doing that. So I think that the nebula strands are something that I need a crew member, a passenger, that will tell me how to do it. Patina has the new Steam stuff. Since they added it in beta. Hold on. I can't. Unless I can. Because I never really used stable version since they added the beta feature. I've been messing around with it a lot. That's cool. Yeah, I've always gone... I usually stick with the stable version of things. Unless I have a, a strong reason. I was not even looking at the... The, the fishing rod. Jab might be seeing the death of Disney this weekend. I'm not familiar with that by name. Is that that? Wow. Oh, my God. I didn't even think it was that red. There was some horror movie that was allegedly filmed at Disney World by and, and the way they did it the people basically snuck their camcorders in and did all of their acting like when nobody was was looking and that was briefly its claim to fame even though the movie at least from what i've heard wasn't very good that's not death to disney is it okay we just broke through the ice i assume we're still doing okay i if if the ship starts sinking they'll let me know Okay. It doesn't even look that red when it's snapping like that. I wonder if there's an upgrade to the fishing pole. Wow. That really stayed red for a while. Okay. Let's just let it out a little bit. I want to read what Jab has to say about the death of Disney, because I'm just not familiar with it by name, and the trouble is, if I take my eyes off this rod, we'll lose this guy for sure. Hey, Snow Crab! That's the first one of those we've caught. Bazine's never had trouble with any beta versions of Steam. And then Jab is saying uh, no for, like, the company. Like, so Jab, is this, like, on Netflix? Or it's it sounds like a documentary. But I am not... I haven't heard of this uh, before this. At least not that I remember. Oh, we may, we may have arrived. No, we stopped because it's the dead of night. Or maybe we did arrive, I don't know. Let's just see if we can... Another snow crab, all right. So, where are we? Let's look really quick. I feel like we didn't quite arrive at our destination. Astrid's going to bed. Oh, do we have to... I'm just going to check. Do we have to clean off the, the thing here? Like, scrape the ice off? No, there's no button for it. At least not yet. Now, maybe maybe Death of Disney is not the name of a product. Like, what, what do you mean the Death of Disney, 
jab then. Because he's saying no, I mean in the real world. I would be a little bit surprised if Disney went out of business, but then again, there's been all sorts of sudden massive financial shakeups that a lot of people didn't see coming, or at least I didn't. So who knows what's been happening while I've been uh, working on other stuff here that, during the weekend. I will plant some leeks, even though we already have two, two plots of leeks being grown. Okay. I feel like that's everything. Like, we've got lots of ingots to smelt and stuff, but I, I've, I've sort of come to realize that you never need, like, 500 of something, so we can just wait until we do need it for something. Oops. But you can say a lot of other companies would have died already if that's the case. Jab is saying if they can't make money off of Lucasfilm, Marvel, or Disney Plus, what do they have left? I feel, hold on, I honestly feel like chat skipped a line or something because I'm still not sure what we're talking about. Aren't those things fantastically profitable? Yeah, it, it didn't come up in this program either, so I feel like I'm a, a step behind on the topic. Okay, now we've apparently arrived at where we should be. So let's ring the bell. Everybody wake up. I should check in with the crew also because they have... I don't know that they ate yesterday. Yeah, I was under the impression, and I am not like an investor in Disney or anything, but under the general impression that they were like an incredibly profitable media company, I do know that their, what was it, their Star Cruiser? They had this Star Cruiser fantasy thing that was at one of their parks that <laughs> didn't do very well. It was enormously expensive for two people to go sleep in like coffin pods for two nights. I, I don't want to give the price because I'm concerned that I'll be like off either too high or too low, but it was very, very, very expensive for people to live in basically what amounted to an underground bunker with no windows and interact with people you know, cosplaying as Star Wars characters and maybe it's just the fact that no part of that sentence appeals to me personally, but I apparently it didn't appeal to very many people because I guess that whole thing is being shut down and the workers are being repositioned to other places in the park. Okay. Hey, here we are. Mm -hmm. As I told you, Masha and I never really got along. She's a tried and true blabbermouth. And no, not the funny mm -hmm. kind. And yes, much worse than me. I never took pleasure in destroying other people's lives. On the contrary. Mm -hmm. All right? I should be able to pull off a little bit of acting here. Let's see if I can fake it. Let's hit it. Hey, perfect. Masha! Good to see you again, old hag. You've retreated much further than I thought. Mm -hmm. How are you doing these days? Oh, well, well. If it isn't Astrid. You've never been this nice to me before. Mm -hmm. uh, did Olga send you? Did I assume you'd need a favor? If it's a scarf, honey, Sorry, honey, but I've just given the last one I knitted to a lovely chap up in the mountains. But I also have some winter socks if you're interested. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's nice of you, but that won't be necessary. No, thank you. Stella here welcomed me on her boat and made me a num made a bah, made a wonderful house for me while we were cruising the oceans. Mm -hmm. All of my needs are met thanks to this wonderful young lady. Actually, it's information I'm after. Darling, have you heard anything about Giovanni? Mm -hmm. I know it's silly, but I'm still looking for my lazy husband. Olga said in a letter that you had a lead on where to find him. Oh, I did actually, but Astrid, you know I'm not in the business of gossiping. Olga, maybe, and I won't even talk about Arena, but me? Oh my, never. Remember when I inadvertently mentioned to Sir Brogwood how his wife had met with his cousin in the lower garden? Or when Mrs. Fredericks confided in me the secret of her foreign lover? 
you don't? Exactly. That's because I've never told no one. Mm -hmm. Hey, Masha, darling, that's true. But what do you make of Sir Langdon spat with his wife? All because someone blabbed about his mistress to Mrs. Langdon's maid. Mm -hmm. Oh, and what about that time when little Bobby accidentally discovered who had killed his pet bird, Zakaria? Oh, oh. What do you think about the ruckus caused by the discreet revelation of Mrs. Gardner's secret stash of fine liquor? Mm -hmm. And I could go on and on and on, honey. Oh, no, I... but that was different. Mm -hmm. Where is he, Masha? Well, okay. He's in Lowenberg. He hooked up with someone. I don't know the details. Mm -hmm. Hey, that wasn't so hard now, was it? Thanks a lot for helping me out, Masha. Your kindness is as gigantic as your forehead. Mm -hmm. You did the right thing, and I won't forget it. Who knows? Maybe... You might even receive a crate or two of freshly threaded wool in a couple of weeks. And Stella here might need your services. Mm -hmm. I'll leave you to it. See you soon, Masha. Damn, I hate her stupid face. Mm -hmm. I'm out of here. Okay, Loneberg. So, can I or should I interact? Oh, look, we can. We can plant things on Masha, just like we can her sister, Olga. So, what do we want to plant? I've got a lot of wood. But not all of the wood in the world, so sure, let's plant some maple. And then right here we could plant... What do I have the least of? Let's plant some slate. And then... Copper. Because again, it's the, you know, we'll just do a, an even mix. Wait, how do I... You took your sweet time, right? Are you done? Yes, I am. Okay, see you later. Goodbye now. Okay, so next time we see Masha, she will have grown trees and rocks on her back. Oh, hold on. Okay, now hold on because this was the topic. Jody K is saying Disney gross profit for the 12 months ending March 31st, 2023 was 28. 0.739 billion, an 11% increase year over year. Disney's annual gross profit for 2022 was 28, somewhat less billion, a 27% increase from 2021. Oh, so their profits increased, but they didn't increase by as much as they had before. Therefore, they're in financial trouble. I think I under. That's how. That's how this works, right? You're still making more money than you've ever made in history, but because the rate at which your amount of profit increased, therefore you are now in financial trouble. Is that is that that? Jab is saying, basing the hotel off of the sequels instead of the OG Star Wars pretty much doomed it from the start. But the idea... Well, I mean, I feel like the thing that doomed it from the start was having it be, like, underground and windowless and cost, like... $7,500 per person. <laughs> it's like really, really expensive. Like it would be expensive anywhere, but especially for what you're getting. I mean, I like what I don't know is like what, like Jab, you saying that it's based off the new movies. I will take your word for it. Cause I don't even know. I read the price and I saw a picture of the rooms and said, I also could opt to hang upside down in my closet at home, and it would be way cheaper than what they're charging me for that. For that, Jab is saying, but the idea of buying Lucas was there would be a Star Wars movie at least every year, and it's been, what, four or five years since the last one. I feel like Solo really took the wind out of those sails. I, I feel like Solo was such a debacle from a production standpoint, a review process pro standpoint, and a... What's the phrase I'm thinking of? From an audience reaction standpoint, that they really rethought how much Star Wars they wanted to pump out into the world. That's just me making things up out of my head, though. I'm not, I don't have anything to back that up. Okay, I want to talk to Stella. Mm -hmm. She's never been nice. Running her mouth like that, she's the mean one of the bunch. Mm -hmm. But enough about her. Mm -hmm. Thanks for bringing he me here, Munchkin. So, Giovanni's in Loneberg. Mm -hmm. Well, he usually hates winter. Let's go find him, Munchkin. I'm gonna give him a piece of my mind. Hello to No Oats! How's the four-day weekend? Uh, it is going fantastically. Also, I feel like this plant life is new. 
Can somebody more observant than me tell me, has there always been ivy growing on the outside of my window? I like it. I just don't know when that might have happened. So now we've got Loneberg. This is all new to us on this side of the... Oh, we didn't get a little fill out. Okay, so we've got the Kalkstein Mines. We've got that. And apparently Loneberg is... No, that's... Hikarishima Lighthouse. And then this is the Kalkstein Mines. So it's got... Oh, is this it? Loneberg. Well, I vote we do this first, and then we'll check that out, and then we'll go up there. And then someday we'll make it down to the, to the lighthouse as well. But, Jab, like, you were indicating that something might happen this week or this weekend. Was there some additional news that you knew about? Because I... I just... For me, I don't... Meal size large. Yes, have some meat stew. Okay, do you want a hug? I always like to check to see if they want the hug, because I feel bad if I offer the hug and get rejected. I feel like that's uncomfortable for Stella and uncomfortable for the person. Because, like, Atoll has to be there to say, uh, No, sorry, what's his voice? Oh, I don't actually want a hug right now. Whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Hey, you know what would be nice? Something to eat. Uh, so, she likes plain food, but I already gave her grilled fish. Do I have anything else that's plain? Yeah, rice. <laughs> there is no hassle with plain food. No fuss, no muss. Uh, it's actually been a while since I've been hugged. <laughs> Give her here. Oh, <laughs> there you go, munchkin. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was really mainly talking about Disney films and Disney Plus. I'm sure the parks are talking, um, turning a big profit. Hey, that was a good hug if I say so myself. <laughs> I mined this ore when I was on the island with you earlier. I thought of smelting it for you, Munchkin, but I can give it to you instead if you want. What do you think? Sure, why not? If it's anything, okay, so it's just copper. But whatever it was, like, sure, why not? The thing about Disney Plus is that I think... So, there's two things about Disney Plus as far as I know. Number one, a lot of people signed up early when they were giving away, like, this very, very appealing... Like, sign a two-year contract, and it's like... I Again, I don't want to say numbers because I'll be wrong. But it's like, you know, $4 per month for the first two years or something. So, a lot of people signed on to that. And then secondly, Disney Plus is baked in with things like uh, cell phone plans and stuff. So a lot of people are getting access to it that way. Oh. Hey, wait one second there. You can't be here. This mine has been abandoned for 40 oh. years. You can't just waltz in there. You don't have the proper credentials. But I love the attitude. Oh. I do see some potential in you as a future security recruit. You just need some training. I went to school for this job, oh. you know. I suppose if you went out and got said training, I could deputize you. That would work, actually. A break once in a while does sound oh. nice. Listen, go out there and train for this job. Double jump, glide, and zipline. So we've got two of those. You need to be able to do all of that before I make oh. you part of the team. I'll see you around, future recruit. I don't think I can zipline. Let's just double check. Oh. If you can ride ziplines, that would surely help. Okay, so it straight up tells us what we need. Jody K signed up early and doesn't remember a two-year offer. She has the Disney, Hulu, no ads, and ESPN combo. Oh, like, I don't remember what stream it was, but, like, Netflix also rolled out some, like, really draconian, you can't share your password anymore thing. And I personally would have expected that to have lead led to a... Uh, a large uh, removal of people's accounts. Reportedly, it did exactly the opposite. It has brought in the single largest, like, month-over-month -month increase for Netflix that they've had in their history, which is super surprising to me. I guess people really were attached to being able to watch what they wanted. I've seen some people be like, oh, what do you even watch on Netflix? 
I don't know, man. It seems like there's a ton of stuff on Netflix to me. Like, not just Stranger Things, which I know people talk about, but Drienne and Glomdi were big fans of, um... I should set a new course, by the way. Oh, gosh, what was that show by the Wachowski siblings? Sense8. Yeah, they really like Sense8, and you could say that's old, but they liked it, and, and we're watching it through. Like, if you haven't seen it, it doesn't matter how old it is. It matters whether or not you've seen it. All right, let's go check out these crates. I don't know if you're supposed to set a course for things like the crates. I just do. And then we find out what's there, and then we go forward. Because the way I think about it, I'm in a brand new zone. I don't know what kind of seeds or whatever else we might find. Can we cook up our snow crab? I want to cook one snow crab by itself, and then another one I want to mix in with, like, a different ingredient. Jab was seeing so many people sharing the password with passwords with friends. Yeah, exactly. And, like, to me, I guess I'm just surprised. I feel like all of the people that I know... Oh, right, we never... Oh, right, we did. Sorry, I was thinking that we built the orchard. A lot of people that I know kept their Netflix accounts live and active specifically because they were sharing that password with friends. So I thought that not only would the friends not sign up, I was honestly expecting a large number of people that were paying for the account to say, well, I don't need this anymore. If I can share it with my friends, I don't know what, what I'm here for. What, what, is, what is this to me? But he never shared his. Uh, he says, like, you should pay for your own shit because um, he's got to do it. For a lot of years, Netflix was actively encouraging people to share their passwords. It was part of their marketing. Tr true love is a shared password or something like that. Wow, a lobster. That's the first one of those, too. No oats. Oh, hold on. Also, Solid Chrome Hickey said something, and then it scrolled off the screen. But now I'm committed to this. Uh-oh. Hold on. Okay, this is a good place, because we've got something to die for. Jody K shared her Netflix with her brother and mom. Okay, what do we got? Hey, sunflower seeds, see? And celery, now that I look at it more carefully. And whatever this is. Marble. Okay, the next time that we find Masha, we will plant some marble, because that's our first marble deposit. Okay, while we're doing this, I'm going to have to pause it, because this animation is going to take less time than it does for me to scroll back. So, Solid Chrome Hickey had said there was a plan. If you signed up early, it was at a discount, but it was a three-year agreement. Okay, that's what it was. But yeah, it was, it was, a, it was a really good price um, relative to what they were saying it was going to be. At least that's my memory. I thought it was a two-year. It's a three-year. Okay, let's cook our lobster. Okay, and it is nighttime. We can try to set a course before the before it gets too late, but we're not going to make it to wherever we're going. Okay, so let's head here. Loneberg. Oh, hold on. Mosh is available. Stop. We're going to go here instead. And yeah, if we see the junk seller, that's fine. No, it's just saying, I heard the issue will be with active service members and not being able to use Netflix now because they might move around for months at a time. That had not occurred to me, no oats, but that sounds like... That was the whole thing with, like... Remember when the Xbox One was going to have all of this, like, awful DRM for, like, everything was going to be digital only. And, like, like, even on discs, it would, it would come with, like, a digital license. And if you, if you didn't sign in to your home account once a week, then it would, it would disable access to your game. And people were like, hey, what about servicemen serving overseas? Like, they've, they've had... Xbox, like original Xbox and Xbox 360. And now you're telling me that the Xbox One, they're not going to be able to use? Like, that was one of the pushbacks there. So, yeah, I can envision that the, the Netflix thing would be um, really annoying as well. 
Jody K is saying that they do have something for that, like some, probably probably some program or like shared price or something. Okay. And by the way, we made it a third of the way to where we were going with just that that little amount of time. Yeah, for me, like, I want to say that the worst thing that I can remember, well, oh, sorry, that I can remember watching on Netflix, like, I'd really have to think about it, but the first thing that comes to mind, let's plant some celery, don't have any of that yet, would probably be season one of Iron Fist. Like, that, that show was wretched. And also, it was a television show. It was one of several things that I watched on Netflix that I just didn't happen to like very much. That one show, or the absence of that show, was not really... Wow, hold on, the one lobster got me two meals. I feel like that's unlikely somehow. Okay, let's have a snow crab, and let's mix it together with some... leeks. And we'll see what that gets us. And then I I feel like we've arrived. No, no, we're still going. Like, I, I don't know. I, I guess my point is people talk about, like, their perceived problem with, like, the quality of... Are we not... Hold on. Is Masha not here? Hold on. Because we're not moving. Oh, this guy. Okay, I mean, that's fine. Let's talk to him. Uh, I'm immensely chipper to see a dynamic young lady. Not that, yeah, we already had this conversation. Okay, just figured I'd check. Talk to you later. Let's sell any junk that we have. Yep, valuable necklace. Fancy vase. Yep, and that. I don't want to sell anything good, though. Errands. Yes, let me give you this in exchange for 750 glims and a tea seed. We can give you some carrots and turnips for in, in exchange for some lettuce seeds. And bright jelly. Now, hold on. I actually need like seven bright jellies. And with Gwen gone, I don't know if I'm allowed to go visit the jellyfish anymore. But I definitely want to have the... There, there must be some workaround for that. Maybe I don't need Gwen around anymore to visit the jellyfish. And now, last but not least, I shall buy some odd seeds. I'll buy two of those. And I'm going to buy... Ten bottles. And then that's it. Jab is saying, I'm pretty sure Cleopatra was the lowest ranked show ever on Netflix. Jab, the only reason... I think you're absolutely right... The only reason that I've even heard of Cleopatra is because people on YouTube complaining about Cleopatra. I have not watched even one of those videos because I didn't know anything about Cleopatra, so I can't speak to the quality of the show. But yeah, uh, you are absolutely right. I've heard a lot. Bisque. Mm. Lobster bisque, you guys, is extremely good. All right. I think Astrid might need to... Oh, maybe she doesn't. I love, I love Daffodil the Cat. Jody K is saying, if your account is locked, logged in to enough from another IP, you get sent a code to enter that it's verified to you. It's not locked to your one IP. How often does that happen, Jody K? Like, how, how often does it send the code? Is it once a week, once a month? Crud. Okay, got it. I do like that the punishment for screwing up is just like a little bit of extra time on the animation. Okay, now let's plant our marble. Let's plant our... I've got lots of quartz. Let's plant our limestone. And then 
Oh, oh! I don't know where I got uh, aluminum, but yes, 100% will plant that. Hey, you know what would be nice? Something to eat. Okay, I will give you some... We just gave her rice, so I want to find something else. Let's send her... Let's give her the grilled fish again. Mm -hmm. No hassle with plain food. Ow. And... Was recently hugged, so we will not offer a hug. Okay, anything else? The name's Marsha. If you work hard, you get rewarded. If you slack off, you don't get anything. Simple. I won't sugarcoat it. Go on now, you know the drill. The time for investing is always now. You took your sweet time, are you done? Yes, I am. Okay, I'll see you later. Solid Chrome Hickey's saying, hold on, I want to get on the, uh, on the road. Uh, go here. Yeah, see, there's the jellyfish, and I don't know if we can do that. So, now, we will go to Loneberg. Let's sweep through here real quick, and then we'll go to Loneberg. We'll see what, what all is up there in that part of the map as we go. Okay, let me scroll back a bit, because there's been chat happening. Jody K is saying, this is a quote, when somebody signs into your account from a device that is not associated with your Netflix household, or if your account is accessed persistently from a location outside your household, we may ask you to verify what device, verify that device before it can be used to watch Netflix. We do this to confirm that the device be, uh, using the account is authorized to do so. Oh, isn't that good of them? Jody K is saying, if your account is logged into enough from another IP, you get sent a code. It's not locked to one IP. That's when Solid Chrome Hickey said, I shared my Netflix account with my family now. Oh, sorry. He shared his account with his family. Now they can't use it. Uh, he canceled the account. I'll reactivate my account periodically and watch everything and then cancel it again after I watch whatever's new on there. I See, that's what I would have thought would have happened. That, like, people would become just a lot more judicious. What are you telling me not to forget? Sir, well, hungry again. Okay. Have some popcorn. Okay, do you want a hug? Jab is saying that's pretty much what I do for all the streaming companies except Amazon, but Prime is not why I have Amazon. I just wanted to get that muscle. We can keep going, boat. But yeah, that's what, what Jab and now Solid Chrome Hickey are saying is like basically how we tend to handle it. Like, hey, there's like, like, like here's an example. Okay, uh, looks like since the last time that we looked at something on Disney+, Plus, now there's, uh, Hawkeye and, uh, Captain America and, I, uh, Ms. Marvel, like, I'm trying to think of what the various shows are. That's our first Blue Salmon, by the way. So, now, we'll subscribe for a month, maybe two, watch all that stuff, and then go on. Like... When season five of Stranger Things comes out, it wouldn't surprise me if there was a big spike in uh, subscriptions to Netflix for one month by a bunch of people that then would not resubscribe. But then again, look what I know. I thought this password sharing thing was really going to be a problem for them, for their subscriber numbers. I'm completely wrong, at least so far. I guess I I am personally of the not, you know, the, the opinion and one that's not being borne out by fact that people don't want to be hassled by stuff. They don't want to get codes that they have to type in to verify things. They don't want forced password resets. They don't want passwords that can't be remembered and have to go on for 25 characters and, and have like multiple special symbols. 
like people want to mostly be they, they like streaming for the convenience of it like remember blu-rays i do uh they were less convenient than streaming even if blu-rays had more special features and a higher quality picture and better sound than what you're liable to get streaming off of netflix people like pressing two buttons and getting to watch whatever they liked and then the less convenient Netflix or Amazon or Max or anything else becomes, the less happy people are going to be with it as, as a streaming platform. But again, I'm clearly wrong because that's not what happened when Netflix made it a lot less convenient. Let's, oh yeah, sunflowers. We haven't even ever grown these. Jody K says that that's what she does with stars. Outlander's new season is coming out right now. Uh, she'll re-up the sub soon and watch them and then cancel it. I, I'm just noticing that we do have a purple exclamation point. Let's plant some... Oh, odd seed. With odd seeds, you might get a boot. You might get a vase. Okay. Mm -hmm. They were here. Let's take a look. I want to go see if that rat bastard Giovanni's around. Jody Kane might try watching American Gods again at some point now that she's far enough away from rereading the book. Isn't season two of that happening soon? Mm -hmm. Or did it already happen? He's been here. I can feel it. I won't mm -hmm. beg, but if, if you could... Oh, come on, you know what to do. Uh, I think Raccoon Guy says the same thing every time. Hey, you're in for a treat. You're looking at the only location of the joint venture of Raccoon Inc. and Furugawa Tours, where vacation means shopping. Make sure you browse our latest brochure and maps to explore this great land of ours. I don't have anything I'm gonna wanna sell this guy. Oh, look at this cotton. I don't have any cotton, so I mean, I, I do want to save up my glims, but this seems like a good thing to buy. Let's buy five cotton. Let's buy ten cotton, because I don't have any. Cabbage. I think I have lettuce seeds, don't I? Let's buy ten cabbage seeds. Metal rope. And glass. Oh, we need, hold on. See, I didn't actually write it down. Crud. I don't remember how much glass we needed, so let's just buy three glass. Because I think it was two that we needed. Let's buy four glass. And then metal rope. I don't need this for anything. It seems very expensive, so I might not buy that yet. Oh, he's so happy for the amount of uh, stuff that I just bought. Mm -hmm. Oh my. Aren't you the cutie pie, Bambina? I'll call you Peanut. Mm -hmm. Like a cute little peanut pie. What? You were looking for someone named Giovanni? Mm -hmm. Ha, huh, but that Bambina doesn't surprise me one bit. I mean, who isn't looking for me? I'm Giovanni. Mm -hmm. Leone Formidable. Uh, sorry to break it to you, though, but you're a bit young for me. What? Mm -hmm. Astrid, you say? She's with you on your lovely boat. Say no more. Mm -hmm. Here I come. So this guy's clearly another lion. Hey, he what? <laughs> Just like that? No fuss? Really? He must be really desperate. Let's go back. I am not nearly done looking around here, guys. Oh my god, Doctor saying season two of American Gods happened three years ago. I am way out of it. What's the new season then? Three? Four? Jody K is saying... Oh, Jo- sorry. <laughs> Solid Chrome Hickey had said... How am I missing all of Hickey's comments? I shared my... Okay, no, we read that part. I asked my family, he says, if they wanted to chip in and nobody wanted to. I already paid for the Disney bundle, Paramount Plus bundle, and Stars, and Netflix wasn't worth it for me. No Oates is saying, do you think Netflix are counting on counting the resubs as new and saying they have all of these new users if it's a massive success? Um, so... In fairness, the news that it was like a, a banner like time for them 
was done by some like third party analytics company. And apparently like a company that does this and I, I guess has been known to be reputable in the past. We found a recipe for beef fondue and I do not have zipline technology. So nor can I jump on any surface here. So no oats, I believe that these are legitimate new um, subscribers, but it's also possible that they, they are doing some sort of uh, accounting shenanigans. So season two was three years ago, but there has not been a season three of American Gods. Jody K pays for Netflix, Disney, Hulu, ESPN, and Max comes with their AT&T accounts. Yeah, see, that's what I meant about the the cell phone stuff. Some of these services come on your cell phone um, contract. My brother plays, pays for Prime. I have his second adult profile link to his account. Someone shares their Paramount Plus with me, and I share Disney with her. And then mom plays for, pays for Discovery Plus. Isn't Discovery Plus becoming like ID Plus or something? Or... or I'm trying to remember, I thought there was something. Hey, don't just stand there. Welcome him aboard, Stella. Hey, hey Giovanni. Mm -hmm. Astrid. Oh, Astrid. Mm -hmm. hey, you look good. Mm -hmm. Always. And you look splendid too, princess. Mm -hmm. Astrid, I was looking for you. Everywhere I went, there you were not. Honey, my life is empty without you. The air tastes like dust. The ground feels wobbly. The stars are gone from the sky, and no one is here to scratch my back. I even had to buy a back scratcher. You know, the wooden ones with a little plastic hand on top? Mm -hmm. Hey, stop it, Giovanni. I haven't forgotten what you did. I will never forget. Mm -hmm. But, uh... Mm -hmm. But, mm -hmm. but I'm willing to forgive you only if you promise to behave. Can you do that, Giovanni? Mm -hmm. Can I trust you on this? Or should I forget about you right here and right now? And you know what I mean by forget. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Yes. Oh, yes, my princess. Have my, have my back and I'll show you how trustworthy I can be. Mm -hmm. I will shower you with gifts and never take the slightest peep at another woman ever again. Heavens, I'll even stop looking at other people. You have my word. Mm -hmm. Hey, all right. <laughs> all right, G J J Jovkins. I don't know how to pronounce your pet name. It's actually harder than your regular name. But you're still on probation, mm -hmm. mister. If I ever see you doing something fishy, I'll kill you. You hear me? <laughs> now come here. I have so much to tell you. Uh, why am I getting the summons? I feel like these two want to spend some time alone. Mm -hmm. Hey, Giovanni and I have a few things to settle. Like, why does he walk around on all fours when I really don't do that? Or do I? Actually, no, I can't remember. Anyway, you don't need to babysit me for a while. I'm sure you got better things to do than watch two ancient lovebirds reconnect. Mm -hmm. I'll talk to you later. Oh yeah, I do walk on all fours. I probably should have mentioned that before. Ah, Jab is saying that Max bought out, like HBO Max uh, bought out Discovery Plus. I knew something had happened. So, everybody's going to sleep, and we discovered a brand new recipe. Let's see if we can make it, if I remember what it was. It might be starred. Shoot. Fried chicken, you need chicken and fat. Tea. Wonton soup. Every, beef, beef fondue, this is what we got. So beef and fat, I have neither of those two things. So, okay, then let's cook something else. Let's cook some blue salmon and we will mix it with a mushroom. And then I'm gonna go to sleep. I have no memory of what I needed the glass for. I don't, I don't think it was the only thing that I needed though. So let's look. That's fire glow. Missing blueprint, missing blueprint, missing blueprint. Okay, so we did need three glass. I'm glad that I didn't get that. Oh, and as soon as we can, we should plant some um, cotton. 
Let's make sure that the plant... Oh, we can actually do it right now. Okay, it goes in the field. So let's plant our celery. Or the odd seed. Yeah, we've already got some celery on the way. Okay. This corn looks like it's ready to go. Oh, hello to Grumpy! Jody K is asking Grumpy if he looked at his surprise. Was it... Jody K, was it in the Samalander stream? It was like, wait a second, I want, I want to know what the surprise was. Was that... Am I remembering that, or was that something else? I think I'd rather stick my face up to a Venus flytrap than I would a sunflower. Sunflowers really weird me out. Jody K is saying, uh, no, did Moo look at it? Oh, that's what it was. Uh, and then saying that, yes, it was, uh, Sam Lander. So we found Giovanni. And we freed up this whole area. So we'd go to Nordweiler and go, go look at that fish. We're here. Seeds, treasures, wood, and ores. Um... Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's go here, and then here, because I want to grow some more marble. Uh, whoops, crud. I pressed the wrong button. I want to do set waypoint, and set waypoint, and then confirm travel. Actually, the, the crops look pretty moist. We're going to get our... Fish, fish, f fish food. That was just more bullia base. Didn't I need a soul for something? Am I, am I? Hold on. Oh, the HVAC system. What did I need for the HVAC system? I don't have the money. Yeah, wool fabric we need for that. And I don't have any of that stuff. Okay, we are at the um, debris field. Good morning, Sprout. Okay, turned out a lot of cotton seeds. So I might have overpaid for the cotton seeds. I figured I'd rather have a few too many cotton seeds. Here's some more marble, which is good. It's a good thing I'm a spirit fairer, because otherwise swimming around in all of this icy water might be bad for my health. Okay. Crops are still looking pretty darn good. But yeah, it, it feels like, as with all things, I look online and I see like a thirst, an appetite for everybody to like wake up and realize that Netflix programming is terrible. It's like, I don't know. I feel like I've seen a lot of great things on Netflix. You know, not all of it was as good as it could have been. A lot of their stuff gets canceled very suddenly and with what feels like very little opportunity to find an audience. But I don't know. I'm, I'm still... Usually when I've seen something that I enjoy, I enjoy seeing it even if it doesn't get a second season. It's hard It's hard to get invested in something if you know in advance that's the way it's going. Oh, you know what? Hold on. What did I say was the worst? Yeah, I'm still going to go with... Um, Iron Fist Season 1 was still a worse show than the OA, which was that bizarre... It, it honestly... The OA is very difficult to describe without giving it away. I have a lot of thoughts about the OA, and if anybody's not aware of this, 
it is exactly what you think it is in terms of spelling. The O as in the letter O, A as in the letter A. One thing that the OA did that... Oh, hold on. Season one of Iron Fist failed to do was be interesting. Like, you are not happy when you reach the end of the OA, but on the journey getting there, you're like, what the hell is this? Like, what? This all clearly has a purpose, but it's so weird. Like, what is happening? And like, I, at least I was legitimately intrigued to see where all of this was going to go. There's a second season of the OA. I've never seen it. I've only seen the first season. That is still better to me than season one of Iron Fist, which was just, just dreary. It was so dreary watching a show that was helmed by a, like a lead star who just just clearly didn't care about what he was doing. He just didn't. Whenever I'm talking on the internet, I always tend to be a little bit careful because I don't want to feel, I don't want people to feel insulted if I'm like being overly harsh on their craft. But the dude, and, and I just never remember the, the man's name, the dude that was the, the lead, the Iron Fist in Iron Fist, just didn't care about doing good work and it comes across throughout the entire first season it's so embarrassing it's so embarrassing to see him up against every other person in that show that was giving it their all and you can just feel in the energy that he is that he just sort of like walked on to set and thought that he'd just say his lines and they'd fix all the terrible terrible uh fighting in post poor like all of the stunt people that must have worked so hard to get their stuff right so that he could look my like moderately competent it was <sighs> The Iron Fist is just, it's one of those rare shows that you watch it and it's not, it's not enough to say this isn't as good as it should have been or I recognize the flaws in it. It kind of makes you mad. And I don't think that anything is ever just one, the, the fault of one specific human being because these are large productions with huge cast and huge crew, lots of people coming together to work on this. But man, does it feel like you can lay so much of the blame for that first season at the feet of one person who just... Whatever. Hey, Peanut. Mm -hmm. I see you picked a spot on the map. What wonderful initiative, Bambina. Seeing the world, going places, meeting new faces. It's all so exhilarating. Before we go somewhere incredible, though, could you do something for me? Just go somewhere else. Okay, I'll let you in on a little secret. I wanted to make someone really happy. Shh, don't say it out loud. A secret, I told you. And yes, you guessed right, a very special lady. I want to show her just how much she matters to me. <laughs> I knew you would be on board. All right, we need to go to Bottom Line Corp to do some shopping. I heard the shop there just received a new batch of fancy chocolate boxes, and she just loves bought chocolate. The dark and expensive kind, the perfect gift, don't you think? Wonderful, Bambina, let's head there then. What do you want to bet that the chocolate is not for Astrid? Also, I think I'm somewhere. Am I somewhere? What? Am I... Wait, where... I'm not moving, and I don't know why. Am I being forcibly redirected to... Wasn't I? Oh no, that's Loneberg. Okay. Oh, Masha, I was supposed to meet up with Masha. Is she not here? Did I miss my chance? Jabsing the Diplomat was pretty good. I don't know that I've heard of that. Finn Jones says Solid Chrome Hickey. Okay, yes, fortunately. I've, I've talked on a number of different streams about, darn it, about Iron Fist, so I, I won't, I won't go into the whole thing, but, yeah, uh, Iron Fist had a really great cast worth of people who did their, did their best with a story that I did not think was particularly great, but Finn Jones just...
like I said, it was... It was embarrassing, and I felt bad for everybody all around him that worked so hard to sort of, like, hold him up. Okay. Uh, let's plant some more aluminum, for sure. And then, which do I have the least of? Seven and eight. Yeah, so let's plant some more aluminum. Done? Yes. Okay, see you later. <laughs> hey, you know what would be nice? Something to eat. Um, I'm gonna have to grow some rice pretty soon. Because I feel like she really likes the rice. Okay, has not been hugged lately. Also, I should go hug Giovanni. Like, he's on the crew now. As far as I know. Oh, and he is famished. So, we have no idea what he likes, but just based on every aspect of his demeanor, let's get him something qualifying as fine dining. Aha! Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Now this is something special. Quite the fine dining experience, Bambina. I, Giovanni Leone Formidabile, am a creature of refined taste, of exquisite complexity, and this, this hits the mm -hmm. spot. Delicious! Grazie mille to the chef. Chef. So I'm just going to say I am not going to attempt to do some sort of like an Italian accent because this guy because I can't and I'm worried that it would come across as extremely insulting when as always I just want to make this clear as always the humor should be wow I'm not very good at accents not that I'm ever making fun of anybody else's accent or the way that they talk just trying to give some sort of like personality to the people this character is clearly supposed to be Italian, I'm afraid that any Italian I try to do would come across as extremely, uh, what's it called? Um, uh, shoot. Just, just, I, I, I'm worried that it wouldn't come across right. So we're going to continue to do this, uh, yes, I know it's you. Uh -huh. With this guy. Let's give him a hug. He does all of the hugs in this game look extremely satisfying. Ah, uh, that's the stuff. You sure know how to hug it out. So, he is... Oh, he likes the flute. Recently hugged and ate a meal that he likes. Mm -hmm. You know you're special, don't you? Oh, yes, you do. And if you don't, shame on you. Mm -hmm. Just look at you running around, taking care of me, taking care of them. I hope they're all grateful to you. Point me to one of them who's not, and I shall have a little discussion mm -hmm. with them. But no, really, Peanut, you've got to be proud of yourself with what you're doing here. You're killing it. Heavens, that's funny. Okay, our... Okay, so we, we met with Masha, and now we can get on to the... Oh, right, he wants to go someplace, and I have no idea where, so one second. Bottom line corp. Do I know where that is? Have we been to bottom line corp? Oh, it's gonna mark it for us. No, that's Nordfiler. This doesn't say... Oh, well, they sell... Oh, they sell chicken! So we're definitely going to be there at some point. I have no memory of being someplace called Bottom Line Corp. Furugawa. The Quartz Dragon. Oh, maybe Giovanni could teach us how to get the, um, whatever it's called, nebula threads. And there's lots of stuff that I didn't find there. And there. Nope, nope. That's the Everdoor. That's the one thing that I do know what it is. Crates. Okay. At some point in my life, we will find Bottom Line Corp. And we're going to go explore, like, lots of places. So, let's go to... I think that we're probably closer to here right now than we're going to be later. Yeah. This is going to be quite the voyage, but let's head down to here. The lighthouse. Lighthouse. 
Oh, Patigan's turning in. Patigan, thank you so much. Have a great night. And you guys, can we make a pact that the next time Sam Lander's here, I thank him for the resubscription. I saw that he was writing in chat this morning, and I don't think that I recognized that it was a resub. Oh, the, the rice. Yeah, let's... We know at least one person on the crew who likes rice, so let's just go ahead and make that for her. Sometimes plain food is best food. Jab is saying that supposedly at the table reading for Inglorious Bastards, the first reading, uh, everyone lost their minds laughing at Brad Pitt's pronunciation of... See, I'm not going to pronounce it correctly here either. Bon Gorno? Okay, that was too... Too, uh, too, uh, too taut on the line. Oh, okay. So earlier today, Mia did a stream of... First it was Wreckfest, and then it was Burnout Paradise. And neither one of these games seemed to want to play with her steering wheel very much. The reaction from Wreckfest was particularly interesting, because, like, as soon as the race started, like, without her even having her hands on the wheel, the vehicle would start, like jittering, like vibrating left and right extremely quickly. And she went in and she made every change that I could think of in the control settings to try to mitigate that. Cause it seems like it, it looked to me like the, it looked to me like the settings on the steering wheel were set to be um, digital, like, like completely on or completely off with a dead zone of zero. So just having your hands off the wheel would cause it to like vibrate extremely quickly between 100% left and 100% right. And this would just cause the, the vehicle to violently shake. But there were all sorts of steering wheel settings that looked like they should have taken care of that and nothing made any meaningful difference. So that was really odd. I want to give a shot to Wreckfest because I've never played it. So possibly tomorrow, maybe Tuesday. Like at some point, I, like I don't think it's going to be like a long stream. It might be one of those things that we stream and then and then move on to something else after like an hour. But I'm just curious how that game handles with a controller. I'm I'm curious because I'd always heard good things about it, and I don't know what its what its issue was. And then for Burnout Paradise, I think the wheel just felt really slow compared to the, like, zippy reflexes you have to ha have to, like, get around in that game. I feel like that steering wheel is, is absolutely perfect for something like American Truck Simulator or Bus Simulator or... Uh, one of those, one of those games with a heavy emphasis on realism, but as soon as you get into something that's supposed to be, like you know, jumping your car off of a 45-foot ramp and just launching it into the stratosphere and coming down and completely bottom, bottoming out and then just carrying right along. I just don't think that the steering wheel can be as responsive as you need for something that's that high energy. Oh, Jab, is it buongiorno? Isn't that like a hello in Italian? Is that what it was supposed to be? Buongiorno. Like, like, here's the thing. I would attempt to do an impersonation of, like, like, a character in a Godfather movie. I would not attempt to do an impersonation or, like, a, a replication of, like, how an actual Italian person speaks, because I would be very bad at it, and it would come nowhere close to sounding like how an Italian person speaking English would sound. I hate the design of my boat. <laughs> I really don't like it at all. We should rebuild it. We have the technology. We should rebuild it. Um, hold on. 
Um. Okay, let's edit. We're gonna move this, which I don't remember what it is, over here. And then, can we actually get the sheep pen down here? Oh, look at that. Okay, that's some space saved, because that was nothing before. Um. No, that's three up. Yeah, hold on. And we're gonna have to water these plants again in a second. Let's get this out. So, if we put Summer Sanctuary here, that feels like it gets rid of some... But then again, it kind of doesn't get rid of some dead space, does it? Because then we're missing all of that on the side. This does take the dead space down to four, though. And... Oh, oh, oh. Hold on, that doesn't quite work. We put it there. That's less dead space, I guess. Doogler's asking if I've been hit by the sads. Uh, Doogler, I feel like I was, because I had to say goodbye to, uh, Gwen in the last episode, and that was very sad, for sure. I feel like we can put the kitchen on top of here, though. Um... That's, it's just, that's a lot of dead space down there. It sucks. Um... And then, like, all of this space down here is all, like, yeah, let, let's, let's go to the lighthouse. We'll Tetris this around a little bit later. <laughs> Doctor saying, yeah, your boat is Mamma Mia. <laughs> I just, I, I, I don't like it from a space saving standpoint, and I don't like it from like an aesthetic standpoint and a functional standpoint. It's like the worst of all things. Hey, listen, there's no trouble. I heard what you and your friend did to my colleague. I don't need the stress. Selling goods is a hard profession. My prices will always reflect your brand loyalty towards Raccoon Incorporated. I shall buy some pork, because why not? And then tea, lettuce, cherry. We definitely don't have any cherry seeds. These are very expensive, but let me buy one of those. And then an opal. I'm not going to pay this person $3,000 for an opal. I already have one. If I, if, I fa if I feel like I need more opals, then we'll be back. Oh, she doesn't like this. What are you doing? You're ruining this very pleasant day. Stop that bouncing right this instant. You can't just come back here and bounce. Like some kind of overexcited youth, you're stressing me out. You need to calm down. Here's some free advice. You'll never be able to get up there. I've seen people with better legs than you try. Fine. If you really want to, you'll need two things. First up, a good attitude. That just applies to life in general. Everything is in the attitude. Then, you need to visualize bouncing higher. Or, I don't know, learn a new skill. I'm sure you'll figure something out. You'll learn how to bounce someday. I just know that you can't get up there without a combination of things. A calm and cool attitude and more leg power. Now stop it. I'm just a simple person who doesn't like it when people jump on my umbrella. So that's the game saying you can't do this. Like You, you, you should come back later, but you can't do this. Like that's not going to be enough of a bounce. And I can't get up there. Okay, so the lighthouse is a no-go. Grumpy is saying to Jody K, Jody K, if you are in earshot, Moo did see the surprise and left. So hopefully, hopefully that is uh, that is that's a positive thing. Um, yeah, let's check in here. Okay, we got lots of rice. Okay, we did uncover some new stuff. Uh, 
Rasuteno Meadows and Crow's End Incorporated. And there's a there's a, a barrier here, which I'm willing to bet is the fog barrier. Or maybe it's not, because this is a different color over here. But it's not an ice barrier, so I could not get down here if I wanted to. Let's instead go visit Resuteno Meadows, because, again, we're close to it. All right. This is awful. Let's put Gwen's house up over there. Although, Gwen's house and this place might, like, lock together. Pretty well. Okay, I mean, it's not great, but it's better, I guess. Um, let's bring this down. Um, see, I like having the fields over here, though, because they're easier, they're easier to, like, water if they're close by. All right, well, we'll, we'll surely make adjustments later. But yeah, Dougler, it was, it was legitimately really sad to me when Gwen left. Uh, she had some very kind words for Stella. It felt like she arrived at a much better place. She sort of made peace. Uh, I'm planting a lot of cotton right now because I think that we need this for the linen. Or the, the no. It's not gonna be wool fabric. We're gonna get that off of a sheep. That actually happened, Dougler, right at the end of the previous episode. So that was that was the note that we went out on. And I sort of uh, I made peace with it between here and there. Okay, we are in a new player. Oh, does she want some food? Okay. So I think we gave her rice last time. Let's give her another grilled fish. Uh, does she want a hug? Yes. I think you mean that she left in a better place than she arrived. Yeah, I think that's a good good way to put it. You're probably hungry, too. Um, fine dining. He really seems to like that. So, do I have anything else? I think last time was bisque. Let's have some bouillabaisse. Another glorious fine dining affair. You know Bambina. It reminds me of... Wait, where was this... Trattoria? I, I'm I'm very concerned about mispronouncing that. Well, never mind. Yours is better than theirs. Mm -mm. Uh, <laughs> Not now. Next time. Was recently hugged. Okay. Boy, he makes that that meatball look really delicious. Oh, I think our wait. You use sunflowers to grow sunflower seeds. That. I mean, sure, but... I guess I thought that I would also get some sunflowers out of it. Oh! Hi! Feed. Um, we've been looking for one of you. They like, uh, like... Carrots, right? Okay. Follow. I don't know how to get you on the ship. This is how we get you on the ship. Okay, are you in the pen now? Okay, now, do we have to do anything with you? We just fed the sheep, so I'm going to say that... Nope. We're good. Wow, this was, uh... I guess I figured that we would eventually get some sort of notice on when there were, where there was a sheep. I just didn't expect it to be randomly exploring. But now I feel... really rewarded for random exploration, which is good in a game like this. 
Oh, that's not a thing. What a lovely tree. Daffodil, can you help me out with something? Oh, there's a lot happening here. Oh. When the others aren't looking, I like to lick the rock. It helps me concentrate. Also, it's a little bit salty. I don't get it. I've been here for days. Everyone here says they feel something. I don't feel anything. What gives? I shouldn't have quit my job. Oh, brother. Oh, wow. I've heard of this rock from a friend. He said that if you stand next to it for like a week, you can become a seagull or something. Oh, he is starving. Um, let's get him some big food. He's always hungry. Regular, regular, small, large. Here you go. I had a hankering for this. Uh, he's, he's up for a hug. Wasn't that great? Favorite niece of mine? Okay, we'll get the berries. Now, these rocks, aren't I supposed to be able to... I remember from last episode, we learned how to do, um... Um... Meditation from summer. But... I thought we were supposed to do that anytime we saw a sacred rock. And all of those people are in the way. I'll say this for all of the uh, Paramount Plus folks. Uh, oh, actually, this is good for everybody now that I think about it, because I'm pretty sure... I don't know if this is still true, but CBS slash Paramount had put out all of season one of Strange New Worlds, I believe, for free, ahead of the release of the second season, which is happening now-ish. I, th I think there's one episode out. There might be more. I'm not sure. The Strange New Worlds is uh, very good. I really enjoy it quite a lot. That is the, uh, that is the, like, sort of position as the prequel adventures of the Starship Enterprise with, uh, Captain Pike and his number one and, and other characters that, you know, would be better discovered over the course of, like, watching the series rather than me talking about it, but... Yeah, I think that show is pretty darn good. I wonder if the ladders are supposed to be like a, a hint on how you're supposed to put everything together. Like having these two lad ladders run exactly parallel is so wasteful, but like, I don't know how better to put things together. Let me just look at this uh, place now that we've been here. Okay, well, I found oak logs, mushrooms, and strawberries, so I don't think that we can get there. I do know that Giovanni wants to go someplace, but I still don't know where it is. Let me look to see what it was called again. It was... Bottom Line Corp. I feel like I've been there. And then negative 150 by 150. Let's look. Oh, I should be able to go here. Unless there's another barrier there. Negative 150 by 150. Okay, and while we're going... Okay, yeah, we can't go any lower than that there. Nope. Well, that fits together pretty nicely. Um, I don't know. This is this is all pretty rotten. 
I think tomorrow in game, what we'll do is while we're on this voyage, we're going to uh, loom some of the cotton that we've gotten. One cabbage. Oops. Also, you guys, I did not... So, a couple episodes ago of something, you know, recent in terms of, like, our calendar days, but not necessarily earlier in Spiritfarer, we were talking about Brian Fuller shows, and we were talking about Dead Like Me and Pushing Up Daisies and a couple others. I did not realize Brian Fuller was the original showrunner on Star Trek Discovery. It makes me sad that he is not still the showrunner on Star, Star Trek Discovery. I would, I would submit that episode, sorry, season one of Star Trek Discovery is, it's not that I haven't enjoyed other parts of Star Trek Discovery, but man, season one was, you know, it really got to a very good place. And if that was his influence, it is a shame that we don't get more of that. Someday we've got to sit down and watch season two and three of Picard as well. It's tough to screw up a lot of excitement for that based on the fact that I don't think that I've heard a human being with a soul who has a good thing to say about season two about Star Trek Picard. It's one of those shows that uh, I don't think would be fair to call divisive because nobody seems to be divided on how they feel about season two of Star Trek Picard. I'm sure there's somebody, somebody out there that really likes it, and who knows? Maybe when I watch it, I'll be that person. Be like, you guys are all wrong. I Like, I am a tireless defender of The Amazing Spider-Man. I think that movie is aces, and I do not understand what everybody's problem is with it. I thought that movie was fantastic. So maybe I'll feel the same way about season two of Picard. I just would be a little surprised based on how I felt about season one of Picard. I uh, don't think we have anything else. Dougal is saying, there's Angel picking fights. Mm -hmm. Hey, maybe maybe season two, maybe I'm wrong and like season two of Picard is like super well regarded. I feel like I have not heard anybody speak well of it. <laughs> Dougal is going, put up your dukes. Jab is saying season three is supposed to be good. Yeah, and that's like part of it for us. Like, we don't want to see season three without watching season two. Season three, people seem to like quite a lot. I have some concerns about what I think people might have liked about it, but since I've not seen it, and also I wouldn't want to spoil anything, uh, I'm certainly not going to share those thoughts here. Also, Paramount Plus, I think, has the... Don't they have the new Dungeons & Dragons movie? The one that Jody Kay and Sam Lander liked? Thieves and... Heart of, Heart of Thieves or something? The Chris Pine one. Everybody knows what I'm thinking of. So, let's... Oh, boy. I was about to say, let's loom some cotton. And I realize I don't know... Ah, here we go. Mm -hmm. Oh! We got some copper ingots. Thank you. Okay, here's some cotton fiber. Oh, the flash. Like, the first thing that I got, it, like, put a flash on the screen. It sort of threw off my rhythm. I think we still did pretty well. And, shit. What the hell's that? What's happening? Oh, we smashed through the ice. Okay, it's all good. Okay, let's uh, do some cotton thread. Oh, you know another Netflix show that we never got a chance to see? Um, I heard that Lost in Space show that they did turned out pretty well. So we've got some cotton fabric. I don't remember if we needed that for something specific, so let's go look. I know we, we needed some wool fabric. Yeah, I'm light on bright jelly now. Oh, but that's for the kitchen. I've got, I've got a kitchen. Orchard. 
Nebula thread, which I can't do. Oh, 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 uh, aluminum. We can do this. We can do the windmill. Okay, let's see if we can get five aluminum ingots. Okay, so we're going to put in all of our aluminum ore. We do have some banked with... What's his face? Oh, this has a narrower, like, temperature range. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, did I ruin it? Okay, I will be more careful then, game. Like, we can wait for it to, like, hit the... the low point. Clearly, um, aluminum takes a little bit more care than steel or copper, or whatever. Iron, I think, was the other one. Okay, I still got my five ingots. I probably wasted some coal, though. Let's put in the last bit of... Oops. Aluminum. Yeah, I thought we could go over and it would be okay, but apparently, like, the way that I read that is if you go over twice, then... then you lose it. Oh, wow. Grumpy didn't even make it to the end of the first episode of Picard. I'm trying to think if there's anything that I stopped watching. There's surely things that I stopped watching in the first episode. I think I stopped watching that... Fox had a, a television series based off of... Oh, gosh. What was it called? Uh, uh -huh. Minority Report. Yeah, Fox did a television series based on Minority Report. And uh, I think I stopped watching that in the second episode. Oh. I think I made it through one full episode. There we go. Okay, this is Susan, I think. Oh, great. Just fantastic. The spirit fair is here. On this god's forsaken rock in the middle of the ocean, she came all the way over here. She saw the cold, steep surface of the cliffside below with its broken ladder. She saw all that and thought, yes, how inviting. Surely I am welcomed here. Mm -hmm. Well, you found me. No use running from it anymore. Let me run the old tape for you. Ahem. Spirit Farrah, whose name I don't know, nor do I care to know, I am the collector otherwise known as Susan. The gods, in all their materialistic arrogance, have played a cruel trick on me. You see, I am the collector not by choice, but by duty. Through your ceaseless plunder of the world's very finite wonders, you will no doubt come to stockpile a collection of junk to rival the greatest garbage dumps of history. My duty is to reward this unconscionable behavior with, well, more junk. What irony, is it not? My predecessors used to ask for the accumulated bundles as payment to do who knows what with. But with the job description, but the job description says nothing about that, and I certainly have no interest in your film. So, when the time comes, show me what monstrous, monstrous assortment you've managed to put together. Grab your meaningless reward and leave mm -hmm. quickly. And pick up after yourself. I am bored, ostentatious walrus. Talk. Mm -hmm. What do you want? Get on with it already. I shall go nowhere with you. Oh, we do have some figurines. But I only have two out of four. Uh, I don't have a collection of fish. Five of five gems. Claim reward. Broken shiny rocks. What a joy. Well, you've got a long day ahead of you. Listen, don't let me keep you spirit fairer. You have two jobs now. Finding gems and spirits. By the way, whoever came up with such a ridiculous sounding, sounding name is spirit fairer. It sounds terrible and doesn't roll off the tongue like my name. Susan. Susan. Uh, uh -huh. Susan the Collector. 
Also, don't talk to me anymore. Just look at your collections. So, we don't have uh, enough ingots. We well, apparently would need to complete the recipe book. And that's it. Now, hold on. I came here for... I thought there was a quest. Get the missing wood print from the collector. How do you... Is this like a long... This is a rhetorical question. I can't even apparently raise the topic. Oops. Yeah. So, let me look at collections. Like... Claim reward. Oh, oh. I think that's the wood um, print right there. The claim reward. Mm -hmm. What's, what do you have now? Looks like some kind of... Why? Why in the name of everything that is holy and beautiful do you carry this horrible thing around? It is not only offensive to my eyes, but it hurts the very essence of my soul. Mm -hmm. But wait, I recognize this. Oh, oh no. I should have known from the very beginning. It's that man, isn't it, who sent you? That shallow, materialistic, superficial fraud of an intellectual. Mm -hmm. He sent you here, didn't he? What a crooked, treacherous weasel. He's mad about losing his precious little wood print, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Well, now he's never going to see it again. I can guarantee it. Perhaps he can learn a, to a thing or two about asceticism. And as for the preposterous, preposterously silly reward, your collection, silly collection, your reward is, let's see. No, this can't be. No, the fates can't be so cruel. Well, all right. Just take it. Take the bloody wood print. Go back to the blabbering fool. How did I get it, though? I didn't have two of the figurines. Just... Just take anything you want and get out of my sight. I... I could swear we did not have the wood... the, the things. Hold on. Oh. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I still don't know why we got it, but the reward for this is no longer wood print, but now Blackberry outfit. Oh! You don't need everything on the list. You just need something off the list. I think. Okay, okay, hold on. So I cannot claim Blackberry outfit, but if we go over to Fish, I can claim... Because we hit nine on the bar. That's what it is. Okay. How exciting. You started collecting a new type of junk. This time it's fish. They smell bad and they're all terribly ugly. You can't help but try to catch them all, can you? Yeah, walrus is famously anti-fish. I don't know if you guys knew that. Fortunately for me, you probably won't be able to complete this collection. They are slippery little bastards. Have some hematite. But be sure to plant it on a large turtle. So I cannot get diamond. I can get this, apparently. Oh, wow. Halfway there, finder of bright rocks. You must really love the way they look. You are amused by such mortal things. It figures. Well, I'm not keeping you. Go. Have an old painting or two. Uh, hold on. That's still the wrong button. <laughs> Jab did not finish season two. I think that was of Picard. Jody K has not seen it. Grumpy did not make it to the end of the first episode. And then is going to go build a cat tree. Dougal is not going to watch it. And then says, Hasbro's of the coast keeps being a bastard, so I can't support them. Oh! Oh, the, um, the, the Dungeons and Dragons movie. Oh. And Jab thought it was awful. We only saw, like, the first two episodes, and then mm -hmm. life happened. Okay, so apparently I can get another thing mm -hmm. here. Oh, how wonderful. You've pillaged almost all the per precious gems around. How lucky this world is. Oh, great destroyer, show us your ways. Oh, great. Well, you're clearly not even listening. Take this and leave. We got old carpet, which I think is mostly, like, a sales thing. Like, we can get a lot of glims for it, is my memory. Uh, somehow there's still rewards for having lots of gems. Well done. We are but mere mortals in your presence. Tell us, O oh great spirit pharaoh, what can I possibly give you that will quench your immense appetite? 
Well, this concludes the thrilling saga of how many gems you can bring me. Don't forget not to write. Arrogant know-it-all. Now you can get a crusher upgrade. Not a Wesley crusher upgrade. Uh, don't have that. Collection finished. So, yeah, I guess I didn't need to buy an opal. So that's pretty cool. Mystery item. One more metal collected. We'll get a large glim bottle or three. And we cannot get an Easter reward. And that's all the collections. Okay. So we got the wood print is the upshot of all of that. Jody K is also saying that aluminum has a probably a low melting point. You can melt it at home with a good hot fire. Okay. So let's take the wood print to where it's going, because otherwise I will forget. The Collector in Furugawa. Let's set the course if we can. Oh, this is new. Well, then let's go here. Maybe we can even put in a port before it gets too dark. I doubt it. Oof. Yeah, I'll be inter interested to see the D&D &D movie. Uh, I know that, or at least my memory is that both Sam Lander and Jody Kay enjoyed it a lot. And in my opinion, it can't be worse than the previous Dungeons & Dragons movies. I saw, I saw the one that was like Thora Birch and Jeremy Irons, and then I saw the one that was um, like a, like a direct-to-video follow-up for that. Yeah, God, that original one with, like, Marlon Wayans and, like, I don't remember the the rogue guy who was supposed to be in it. Oh, God. What a, what a hideously unappealing movie that was. All the way up and down. Just every possible aspect of it. That original Dungeons and Dragons movie, that's, that's really one of those movies that you'd have to, ra uh, like, at least I would. I would have to rack my brain to think of something not harsh to say about it. Honest, honestly, the direct-to-video -to sequel that I saw was a better movie than that one. So that's all to say that, like, for Jody K and Sam Lander to have enjoyed the newer one as much as they did, that's a... Uh, I feel like it's going to be in good, good company. Okay, I don't think there's anything else that I need to do tonight except go to sleep. Oh, we can check the crusher upgrade. That's going to be an improvement. I think it's specified for the, the foundry. But I need nebula fabric. So... I don't know how to acquire nebula fra fabric yet. I'm wondering if Giovanni is like the source of that, like like our guide on how to get nebula fabric. Maybe it's just that he's the newest addition to the crew and so many things right now require nebula fabric. It feels like he's the, he's the character of our moment. So let me look here. Okay, there's actually no nebula fabric between here and where we're going, so we'll just continue on the path. Dude is saying, I'm sure it's a good movie, but... Oh yeah, I'm not... I will, I, I absolutely support people choosing not to... So, is Sun... This is a rhetorical question, but Sunflower feels... Sunflower... Hi. Sunflower seeds feel like they're a, a cash crop for us. Like, we, we plant sunflowers and then get more seeds and they just replicate infinitely. And that's the that's our key to financial success. Okay, I don't have any particular reason to be here, so we will explore and see if we find anything else cool. Okay, that's locked. Oh, madam, you've got that face. Larry Salzberg knows faces, and yours could be on a poster, on a billboard. I'm not, you're not talking. This guy, this guy sounds like a salesman. Um, 
You're not talking, but I can imagine your voice, and I hate it. But we can fix that in post. We'll get one of the girls to dub everything. You'll be perfect. What? You're not an actress. You don't do vaudeville? You've never been with Siegfried? Nothing for those French shepherdesses or whatever it's called? That's impossible. You would have been perfect. But if that's true, you're pure undiscovered talent. I must have you in my next picture. I must. You don't have a script. Well, I don't have a script nor a director, but that doesn't matter. It will be called something like uh, Visions of Perfection, a thriller, a murder, suspense, something to get the blood boiling, something to make the town talk. Talking about my young new star will be a box office smash. Can't you see it? Yes, I can. I knew I could count on just walking the streets. Okay. You'll be a star in no time, or my name isn't Larry Salzberg. Now we need to find you a co-star. My casting director is on her honeymoon with her new beau. Somewhere warm, it doesn't matter. What does matter is this picture I just thought about in the last five minutes. I do need to cast this picture with stars. Star power! This town is drier than my shirts and a clothesline in the summer. Let's see. Joan is filming that daughter-mother picture. Vivian is out of the question. Judy is off somewhere magical. We'll need to sign and find someone with gumption, gravitas, grumpy. There's this veteran, Catherine, who would work. Apparently, she's been taking in nature recently. Somewhere on an obscure canopy, I believe. Wait one second. I just had another idea. We could always also go to the demure, naive route. Someone like Ingrid. She could be... She could also do justice to our new movie. She just bought an old place in a new place in Old Central District. You'd go meet her there. Ah, so many possibilities. Casting movies, what a rush. All right, I'll leave it in your capable hands. Find us a match. Someone that you think will pop on screen. Boy, he's not kidding about this place being dry as like clothesline in summer because nobody wants to let me in. Just cash? Old coin collection. Because glims is money, so like, what is that gonna be for? So we can see a fishbowl up there. We'd like to break it if we can. Oh, that is standable. Okay, I didn't know if the smoke might be like a, an updraft. Some lunatic wakes me up every day. He jumps in the water screaming. He always says, oh, what is it? I'm the big fish man or something like that. He's so loud. And it's not just the screaming, it's the thrashing in the water. Poor fellow doesn't seem to know how to swim. Hold on, this is my favorite story so far. I should close my bedroom window. Maybe not. I came here for the ocean breeze. It came with the early bird swimmer. What a magical life you lead here in the brink. Big Brother House. Ugh. Okay, I was about to say, we should be able to get up there. Okay, can I... Okay, I know I can jump down. I didn't know if I could slide down. No, go up. Ugh. Wait, no, come on. Ugh. Oh, it's you can't go up the railing. That's that's what it is. It's just like the boat. You can't jump down from the railing. Okay, hold on. Okay. We cannot inter interact with the shadow bulb. <laughs> God damn it. I came all the way up here. No, I can't I can't X this. And it's just made of, like, shadow glimmers. Nope, that's it. I climbed all the way to the lighthouse. I want to see where the zip line would go if I could take it. Oh, shit. I really should have kept going. So, I mean, theoretically, I could get over there, I think. Maybe you can't. But I'm thinking that if you went all the way up... Nah, this is really far, though. 
I think this is going to be zip line only. I think it'll be a waste of time if I climb up and try to go all the way to the left. Well, we could give it a shot. I, I guess if I don't try it, I will feel especially foolish. Okay, we'll go up as high as we possibly can. I can't get higher than this. And we're going to go all the way to the left. I think we're going to see the zip line like go past. I think they they specifically put this far enough out that you need to use the, use the zip line so it would have like, you know, that's the yeah. Ugh, look at that. They tease you with it. You can almost get there. I'm not going to try it again. I I this is very clearly there's probably some speedrunner out there that's figured out exactly how to do this on the last pixel of the jump so that you can sequence break and get whatever that is. But no, this is clearly zipline zip line palooza. Okay, I definitely want to go and get the, the wood print. So let's set a course for that. Oh, and yeah, we should definitely get this as well. So we're gonna go talk to Masha, and then, is this Furugawa? No, that's something else new. Okay, you know what, let's... Let's go, because I've already forgotten where we're going. It is Furugawa, okay. We're not cooking anything. Let's make some pork chops because we know they're his favorite. The next time he's hungry, we'll give him pork chops. Um, he is a little hungry. Okay, how about some pork chops? Pork chops! Those are pork chops, Stella! This is amazing! Amazingly good! I can't believe it! This is my favorite dish! Thank you, Captain! I think we just hugged. No, we didn't. Okay. Okay, what's his mood like now? Oh, he's all the way up. So he will repair buildings, which... I don't know that they take wear and tear, but that's probably good. He'll harvest wood, make planks, and play joyful music. I'm checking with you. Seems to be in a pretty good mood. Um, he likes fine dining stuff, so... Sure, lobster... Would you call this germinal? Germinal? Fine dining. You know Ben, Bean, it reminds me of... Oh, yes. We've already had that conversation. Yeah, I specifically wanted to stop by her because we need to get this marble. And aluminum. Come on. Darn it! <laughs> okay, I will not push it so hard now. I will say that of things on like Hulu, like we were talking about like Disney Plus and stuff, the the patient, I think is what it was called. Mia had recommended it, and yeah, strong agree. That was a that was a very good show. Okay. I promise I'm trying to release it. I just hold it a beat too long. Okay. Now let's plant. I thought I had something else that was like rare, like I had one of them. Well, let's- we- we just smelted most of our aluminum, so we're gonna plant some more. Oh, that's marble, but that's fine. And then... Yeah. Okay. You took your sweet time, are you done? Okay, bye. Um... Plain food, huh? I feel like rice was not the last thing that we gave her. 
Oh, okay. Would you have anything else? Mm -hmm. Oh, I gave her something by mistake. We should also explore, like, we know that she likes plain food, but we don't we don't know her favorite food, and we don't know what other type of food that she also likes. She does seem to be up for a hug. Mm -hmm. Okay. The sky looks weird. I don't... I can't tell if it's supposed to look that way or not. Okay, and... Well, I've not cooked a raw scallop, I don't think, yet. And... We are... Oh, right, 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 we went to visit Masha. Sorry, so now we definitely want to go to Furugawa. Um, I, I really don't remember where anything is. I feel like Furugawa was closer to the west over here. Toriyama, Iwashama, Oseki. Furugawa, there we go. And actually, since we're, hold on, since we're going through... Let's go through here. We'll set a waypoint and then go there. And we'll see how far we can go on this on this night because uh, the sun is on its way down. I guess it's just the top of the cloud is ex sorry, the bottom of the cloud is extremely flat, so it sort of makes the sky look like we're viewing it through some weird prism. We should hear the crates banging on the boat when we get close enough. Oops. I heard the ding of the, the food bell and it immediately went to reel. I'll say this though of Mia's steering wheel. I do feel like it would be a pretty good pick for a snow runner if and when she does decide to play that because SnowRunner is a much more, it's a very methodical game from the little amount that I played and everything that I've seen of Samalander and um, Caroluna. It's, you, you would really, I think, benefit from having that degree of control in the steering wheel as you sort of like finesse your way through some of those uh, sort of unsteady landscapes. Oh gosh, it's almost 10. Yeah, when we get to Furugawa, we might have to call it there. And like our first agenda for the next episode would be... Our first agenda for the second episode, for the next episode rather, would be um, turn in the woodprint and advance that story. Yeah, today was a really good day. Like, A, today was gorgeous out. Like, if you think in your head of, like, your perfect, like, late spring... Oh, we're at the, the crates. Late spring, early summer day, this was it. Warm, sunny, dry, a little bit of clouds just so that it's not, like, overly hot or anything like that. Um, just the perfect temperature, the perfect humidity. Uh, got a lot of yard work done today marble and oyster okay is there anything else here probably not i got planks get your planks i made some planks for you enjoy okay are we not moving oh it's too dark to navigate okay fair enough Jodic is saying, but you don't have to work tomorrow. True, but I do have to get up early tomorrow because if you break that, at least if I break that 
that um, pattern, what's it called? Routine. And start like staying up super late and then waking up early. It will be a nightmare to get back to it on on Wednesday. Okay, let's put anything else in here. Let's cook. You know what? I don't know that we've got a lot of lee or tea. Put in some tea to steep. Won't take long. I also, I feel bad that the shark fellow, Andrew, whatever his name is, he told us what to do to help Summer, and I, I don't actually remember. Jody K is saying for one day? Yeah, because, I mean, like, I am, you know, between you and me, everyone on chat, I am... Oh, Samalander, by the way, thank you very much for the resub yesterday. I think that I shouted you out and said hello to you, but I didn't, I don't remember recognizing it as being a resubscription. Seriously, thank you very, very, very much. Um, I am probably pretty severely sleep deprived through most of the week, and I wouldn't want to make that worse by like staying up super late and then throwing that off. I have, for a very, very, very long time now, had trouble sleeping in too much. Okay, sorry, I thought I heard something. Oh, pet the cat. Wait, I didn't... I feel like I didn't know that I could do that. I don't know if Chunk from Goonies ever made a video game. This would be the one that he would make. Okay, are we... I thought I was going to stop when I got here, but... Yeah, let's stop, because who knows what he's going to say, and then I'll, I'll have forgotten it for the... Oh, and we have our second sheep! I totally forgot about that. We put the sheep into the pen, and then it immediately fell out the other side of my head. Okay. Let's... I always struggle a little bit with what does and doesn't cause this game to save. I think that when we exit, it actually says, like, save and exit. But let's go back to the ship. Doogler is saying that I've pet the cat before. Okay, I may not have remembered the controls for it. Okay, let's save and quit. There we go. So when we come back for the next episode, all I need to do is remember that we want to drop off the woodcut and then also deliver the second sheep. And if I forget, then I can listen to myself saying this, microphone pop at all. Like, I'm letting you guys know that when we go to edit the episode later on, we'll hear it. And it'll be like, I can't believe it. But it's the game, man. Like, every other thing that we stream does not have that, that microphone pop. So apologies for that. It just seems to be a thing. And the game is well past good enough to, I think, make it worth it. But let's call it here for episode six, whatever it is of Spiritfarer. And we will see you guys again um, as early as tomorrow for another stream. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Thank you for the great conversation. Spiritfarer has continued to be just a wonderfully chill way to move from a Sunday towards a Monday, and I'm really enjoying this journey with you. So we will see you again tomorrow uh, for some more stream and some Kyber Shards. And until then, you guys, I really hope you have a great night.